us what happened to you. We want to help you go home. Let me do it. She trusts me. Uh, uh, if you insist. It's okay, sweetie. Tell Uncle Trappy. How did you get here? Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I should have told you this before. You won't get anywhere. Giraffes can't speak. Huh? Since when? For most of them, since the time they were very young. They make sounds when they're small, but communication all but ceases when they reach adulthood. Uh, no one knows why exactly. Well, then I'll have to teach her. She's probably just out of practice. Trap, I'm sorry. You heard what the doctor said. Oh, I know I can do it. Please! I'm afraid I have a very busy day. Oh, I won't get in your way. I'll be out here with Gina the whole time. Very well. Now, if you would excuse me, I have work to do. Okay, Trap. We'll see you back at the office at lunchtime. Okay. Let's start with some breathing exercises. Breathe in through your mouth. Feel your tummy fill with air. Now breathe out through your nose. Morning, guys. What's in the tree? Oh, Pandora, a giraffe was here. It tried to eat Uncle G's favorite tree. It's okay, Geronimo. They're just leaves. They'll grow back. Don't be upset, Uncle G. On the contrary. I'm pleased. I'm more than pleased. I'm thrilled. This is our first clue as to where Gina came from. She's always hungry. That means she didn't just eat my tree. She ate trees all over town. By following the trees, we can retrace her path. Oh, over there. Good eye, Benjamin. And we're off. certainly seem to like this one. Where to next? I don't see any more torn up trees. Ugh. What do we do? It's not like Gina just popped in here out of nowhere. We're going to have to come up with some other kinds of clues. What else do we know about the giraffe? Uh, oh, she's allergic to lots of things. Right, and when she eats something that disagrees with her, she sneezes it out. Look! Good job, Pandora! Are you okay? Better than okay, I seem to have stumbled upon another clue. She must have gotten tangled in the wires and pulled this pole down. This way. Oh, it's a dead end. Ugh, we must have made a mistake somewhere along the line. Let's retrace our steps. Mm -hmm. Pandora, might I borrow your camera for a moment? Sure. Do you want my selfie stick too? That won't be necessary. Hoofprints. We're back on the trail. Celebrity like the rapper Fresh Curds, or maybe the soccer player Cristiano Romano. Not quite, Pandora. It belongs to the eccentric billionaire and collector Leroy Horde. Wait, did you say collector? Can Mr. Horde be a collector of illegally imported wild animals? Maybe we should pay him a visit and find out. Look, when we talk, you can feel a vibration right here. <laughs> Turn. <laughs> Aww, thanks, Gina. Benjamin, did you hear that? That. Hello. Tranloy who? What's a karate champion doing sneaking around here in the middle of the night? <laughs> One of the motion sensors is moving! It's right on top of us! Uh, it's you, Uncle G! Uh, uh, oh, oops! Uh, Sorry. Hmm. That gives me an idea. Benjamin, what are you doing? Now we know exactly where he is. But he has no idea where we are. 
Good work, Benjamin. We have to get out of here and lock that thing in. We can make a run for the door before he can stop us. What are you doing here? No. Oh, I might ask you the same question, Jim. Hamilton put me on the night shift. He said I was scaring the tourists. Please, help us guard this door. We've locked a guardian inside. We'll keep him in there until morning and then get them. Make way! The steamroller is coming through! You haven't been sleeping there all night, have you? <laughs> yes. We wanted to make sure no one got in or out. Another guardian has come to life. Whatever it is, it's right behind this door. He vanished. They truly are magical. <laughs> magical or not, they know how motion sensors work. Come on, Benjamin. Let's take a closer look. Hey, by all means. Uh, Cheng, help me open up the rest of the museum. Hmm. I have a theory, Benjamin. Could you do an analysis of this clay dust? I want to know how old it is. Sure thing, Uncle G. If that really was an ancient guardian, this clay should be ancient, too. But it isn't. This clay was only baked a few months ago. Aha! I thought it might be. And look, that's not the only thing this clay can tell us. Footprints. Huh? Sneaker prints, more like. This ancient guardian is seeming more up-to-date every minute. Hmm. Now that's interesting. The statue did walk through the wall. Maybe it is magic after all. I think I have another explanation. Give me a hand, Benjamin. <laughs> ah, so that's where you went. I suspect it's where our missing guardian went, too. Come on. Clearly, we have very different definitions of the word fun. Uh, where are the controls? Maybe you should open your eyes. I don't want to. No. All right. The lever on the right was up. Huh? Okay. So the other one must be... Try that again. Oh, no, not you again. This was all your fault in the first place. Shoo! Shoo! Shoo, I said! Oh, no! for our day of exclusives. Uh -oh. oh, that's Sally. It's strange, though. She seemed so nice this morning in the park. I almost thought she turned over a new leaf. She was so sweet playing with Alphonse. What? Sally hates babies! Uh, 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 I tore the whole office apart. I can't find a bug anywhere. Hmm. If I'm correct, it's because you've been looking in the wrong place. Hmm. Huh? Huh? Shh. Sally must have planted them there when she was cooing over Alphonse in the park. Oh, wait till I get my hands on her. Hold on, Tia. I think I've got a better idea. <laughs> no. Let's see what juicy exclusives you have for me now. <laughs> Great. Good. 
been a genuine sighting of the legendary monster, Big Toes, way up in North Alaska. Yes, apparently it was here, about 200 kilometers from this tiny town in the middle of nowhere. If we hurry, we can get an exclusive interview with the witness. <laughs> I don't think so, sweet cheeks. <laughs> Time!